When it comes to New Orleans, po' boys are one of the most iconic foods in the city. That might be the best sandwich that I've ever had in my life. I'm Alana. And today we are in New Orleans to find the best po' boy in this city. Right, and while traditionally the po' boy is made with roast beef, we're gonna find the best shrimp po' boy because one, we just like shrimp better, and two, in New Orleans, shrimp po' boys are just as popular as the roast beef ones. And we wanna taste what the bayou and the golf have to offer. We narrowed it down to four different spots based off of top rated lists and reviews based off of Yelp and TripAdvisor. And when we're making our decision, we're looking for a super soft, plushy bread. The ratio between the shrimp and the bread has to be great. We don't want like little skimpy bits of shrimp in that sandwich. And it has to be super well seasoned. And we're also looking for just like a general great tasting sandwich with all the elements making sense all together. Right, all right, let's go eat. Bye. It's not a bye, we're leaving, bye. Our first stop is Parkway Bakery and Tavern. It was established in 1911 that continues to serve its classic poor boys to locals, tourists, and celebrities alike. Parkway Tavern is an iconic restaurant in the, in the city. The Po' Boy started by the Martin brothers, Vinnie and Clovis Martin. The Po' Boy didn't come around until 1929, the height of the Great Depression. Cars were a luxury. The main way to get around the city transit was the New Orleans streetcar. Those guys weren't getting paid, so they striked. They needed food, they needed clothing, so Benny and Clovis, who were former streetcar conductors, said, you know what, we gotta take care of those guys. We'll feed our poor boys. Real I'm Jesse Poo Boy. The classic po' boy would be the roast beef po' boy. It's a great roast beef sandwich. <laughs> Another classic is right in our backyard, the Gulf of Mexico, Louisiana fried shrimp. For me, best po' boy you can get. What we do, we do a light flour, corn flour season, put it in the fryer, 350 degrees. If you have a New Orleans po' boy, you gotta get it in New Orleans, okay? Because you gotta get the bread. This bread don't like leaving the zip code. And the humidity here in the city is astronomical. That helps for baking bread. The New Orleans French bread is crispy and crunchy on the outside, but when you cut it, the inside's soft like cotton candy. Lettuce, tomato, pickle, mayo, it's dressed. That's the New Orleans lingo. A little hot sauce and ketchup, knock the tongue out your mouth. Yes. The reason why I acted that way is because in 2013, after an epic performance at the Superdome, Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter ordered 150 po' boys from this location. Beyonce? Beyonce! <laughs> the Obamas came here. They're cool too. They run a country, right? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! Take a look at this shrimp. It's perfectly breaded, and it's almost, it's like a golden brown, so you know it's well seasoned. All right. Mm. Mm. There's that distinct um, scent okay. of the gulf mm -hmm. shrimp. It is um, briny. It's like a salty kind of flavor. Salty, sweet. All right, let's dig in. If there's anything, that shrimp alone tastes so good, I can only imagine. Ready? It's a good po' oh boy. <laughs> the bread is flaky on the outside, super soft on the inside. You're getting the seasoning that's in the batter itself, and the shrimp is just so crispy and crunchy. I love the proportion of shrimp to full sandwich here. I could see how this is the blueprint of what a po' boy should be. Our second stop is Johnny's Po' Boys, the longest family-operated po' boy spot in the city. While their breakfast po' boys are popular, the most famous is the fried shrimp po' boy. I come here like two or three times a week. The way you fry it, the batter is really good, so I guess it gives it like a little twist to it. And I also like cheese and hot sauce on mine, so it gives the extra wow. 
Johnny's Pool Boys started in 1950 with my grandparents, Johnny and Betty DeGruche, and we've had it now for three generations. The Pool Boys are fabulous because of the bread. You have to start with fantastic bread, and we get ours from a local bakery, Leidenheimer. It's always gonna be crunchy on the outside and really soft on the inside, which just makes your sandwich. And when you can hear that nice crunch when you bite into it, you know you've got a great sandwich. What makes the shrimp special? What sets it apart is it's a local shrimp. You have to have the seasoning and it's in your wash. You have to have it fried. I mean, you know, you can boil it, I guess, and grill it, I guess. The secret in New Orleans, everybody gets it dressed. What do you think about the breading? It's really good. I will say that I do have a couple of naked shrimps, a little bit. Also, I'm gonna need you to pass that crystal because I need hot sauce for my po' boy. I agree with you. As much as we want a bigger crunch and bigger breading, their imperfections still make it taste good. I forget what their motto is. Even our failures are edible. I mean, they're edible. I feel like they are delicious. <laughs> edible is an understatement. They put it on the griddle so that you get that crunch even on the inside layer. And then because they put the butter on it, it's like crunchy, fatty, and chewy, and flaky, and just all the good adjectives you can put on carbs. That's this bread. Before heading to our next stop, we had to squeeze in some novel staples. Our next stop is Killer Po' Boys. It's a modern sandwich shop that offers po' boys in unconventional ways. A uh, po' boy to uh, me is anything that we can stuff in the middle of a loaf of French bread. There are a hundred places to get a great fried shrimp po' boy in this town. And for us, it's better to do something a little different that we're more interested in and uh, you know, something a little creative that we can you know, give everybody a change of pace. Our seared shrimp po' boy is the top seller at Killer Po' Boys. I think their golf shrimp po' boy is terrific. It's definitely a new take on a traditional po' boy, but the shrimp are just really big, really juicy, really delicious, and super flavorful. We've been featured in uh, numerous magazines, Bon Appetit, Playboy, GQ. So we get the uh, freshest wild caught golf shrimp. We can get our hands on the biggest ones straight off the boat delivered to us every morning. I'd say we go through about 400 pounds of shrimp every week. So uh, first we're gonna go ahead and season up these shrimp. It's a little uh, house blend of coriander, lime zest, salt and pepper. Then I'm kind of like a Southern Asian uh, flavor profile. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and uh, quick pickle some vegetables to go along with the uh, po' boy. We get our bread from a uh, small Vietnamese bakery out in New Orleans East. It gives us a little different flavor profile. Next thing up, we're gonna go ahead and put our special sauce on it. It's pretty much a uh, sriracha mayo with uh, some dried shrimp powder, some uh, lime juice, cilantro, green onion, mint. Fried shrimp po' boy is always going to be better. Well, how could it not? It's fried. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's do right. Mm. When you take bites of the sandwich, you get like whole entire shrimp that are bigger than any of the other places that we went to. I didn't think I'd say this, but <laughs> this shrimp is probably the most flavorful shrimp that we've had so far. I. I want to top that. This sandwich is probably the most flavorful sandwich mm -hmm. altogether. The pickled vegetables are so refreshing mm -hmm. and salty, sour. And the bread, it's a little bit more robust, so it's, hold, it's able to hold more shrimp, which is a plus. I do kind of miss the softness and fleshness of the traditional Pubway bread. You know what I also realized? We haven't touched the hot sauce. Crystal's is my baby. The sandwich you made just abandoned me your child. abandon my child. <laughs> it's a play on a traditional New Orleans Creole sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. And then they're putting a Vietnamese spin on it, but doing it still in a respectful and very delicious artisanal way. So I appreciate it. In the Garden District is Domelices. 
The restaurant has been a local favorite since 1918, and the woman who held it all together was Miss Dot, the city's proclaimed po'boy queen. I love Don Lisi's. It's my favorite uh, po'boy place in the city. I have to make a stop here every time I'm in town. They use some sort of secret sauce that I think really kind of knocks it out of the park. And I love how authentic it is. It's been here and it's kind of been unchanged for so long. It's kind of an institution. On busy nights, the wait can be up to an hour. Nothing has changed in this place. People just don't want you to change anything. They just want that slice of history and the character and the ambiance associated with it. And I think that's a big draw. But besides, the sandwiches are very good. The shrimp, I think, is the most popular. It's a recipe that we've used for generations. What makes your fried shrimp po'boys the best? I think it's uh, the way they're battered. The shrimp breading is um, water, uh, corn, flour, and then we mix um, uh, can't tell you. <laughs> it's so soft. It's so soft. <laughs> We're big advocates of, of daily fresh baked French bread. We've been dealing with Leiden Hammer for years. All of our dressings are mayonnaise, lettuce, pickles, hot sauce, and ketchup. And we make the ketchup ourselves. I love this place so much. It is like a place just stuck in time and it feels yeah. so homey. Everyone's so nice. Yeah, I feel like I'm literally in my grandma's living room. Look at these portions. It's huge. They had to cut it in threes just <laughs> to fit it on the plate. Man. The bread is less flaky than other places, okay, but yeah. it's definitely a lot more plush. Yes. There's also a good amount of shrimp in here, too, and it looks really, really crispy just from the eye of it. I just had a bite of shrimp. Is it good? It oh good. my god, I gotta go for it. I think out of all the places that we went to, I can honestly say that this is the most well-breaded of the, all of the shrimp. The breading is thin, but still really crunchy. Mm -hmm. And I know the secret ingredient. But what does it rhyme with? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you like the bread here compared to the other places? I have to say that my favorite bread is, is still Johnny's. That butter bread will like live in my dreams for all of eternity. I agree. But I will say the shrimp here the is shrimp, a lot more well seasoned. Yeah. If there was anything you could change, what would it be? I'd want more shrimp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can agree with that. Insider tip. They said dip it in the roast beef gravy. This might be a little too much. It's not too much. Yeah. It's bomb. Mm. I need another beer. God, this place is amazing. I would like another Fino. What a trip. Oh my gosh, yes. I think that Po' Boys might now be my favorite sandwich. NOLA is truly one of my favorite cities, and the Po' Boy is one of the reasons why. But we're here to make a verdict, so. We have to pick one. Three, two, one. Okay, okay, you know what? It was neck and neck for me. I almost picked that one. Someone's gotta get, pause. Do you see anyone giving in? Do you see yourself giving in? Uh, no. <laughs> I picked Amelie's because Kenny, Joanne, Deborah, the whole crew, just the best people. They haven't changed that recipe for almost a century and for a good reason. They, they don't need to reinvent anything. They stuck to the classic and they did it so well. They put so much appreciation into that craft. They even make their ketchup in-house. That is true. I also want to say that Domelise's, that crunch was probably the best crunch we had. That's why I also almost picked it, but I just wanted more of it. And as much as I love Domelise's, I just felt like Parkways was like the holy trinity of everything you want in the perfect po' boy. It had that super plush bread, you know? It had that super flavorful shrimp, and they gave you a lot of the shrimp, a lot of it. It was they bursting from it. the seams. Yeah. If we're just talking about quantity of shrimp, Parkway did overstuff their po' boy. And that seasoning, though. 
I'm just gonna go with the fact that Parkway, in that moment when we had Parkway's po' boy and Domelisa's po' boy, Parkway gave us more shrimp. Mm -hmm. For that reason alone, I will concede that Parkway is best of the best. I mean, there you have it. Parkway's is the best of the best. I mean, if it's good enough for Beyonce, it's good enough for me. I mean, yeah, if you, if you bring that argument up. 150 po' boys from Parkway's, I'm just saying. Okay, guys, what do you think? Do you agree that Parkways is the best of the best? Or, or do you think that Domelises is best of the best? Or did you think we should have picked another place we went to? Or didn't go to? Let us know in the comments below. All right, bye. I'm going to get a Bloody Mary. <laughs> We're like the two moms desperately trying to stick with the ages. Great. Right, kids? Right? Huh? Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>